Tonight, former soldiers are weighing in about a tragedy at Fort Hood. A man and two children were found dead this morning at a home on post. KXAN's Kevin Schwaller has been covering this story for us all day long, and he joins us live from Fort Hood with the latest. Kevin? Communities are finding out about the deaths tonight. Three bodies were found around 7.15 this morning. Investigators are releasing few details, leaving neighbors to wonder what happened. Even as the circumstances surrounding the death of a man and two children remain in question, the emotion of the loss is real outside of Fort Hood. Uh, God bless that family. Eric Tutwiler was in the Army. Even though he's not serving now, a certain empathy rises from hearing what other service members now face. It's a lot of stuff that we go through these soldiers' mind that, you know, regular civilians won't not, might not know about. But the best resource that you can go to is family. A.C. Ward heard about what happened from his wife. Wow, really? It's so sad. Ward says he spent 20 years in the Army, five combat deployments. He also says during those years, a neighbor was killed on post. Now he's looking back as he thinks about the deaths at Fort Hood. We all want to be soldiers, you know, we want to be rough and tough and be the, you know, the macho guy and, you know, be strong and all that. But as a Christian, you know, you got to feel for the family that's what's going on, you know, that two kids. Kids that I feel the worst for, you know, they had a future ahead of them. What, what have they got now? Those fighting overseas know the risks. Ward says home is where they're supposed to feel safe. Investigators do not believe there is any further threat to the community. They are looking into this as a homicide. However, that is standard procedure to be thorough. They are not saying what happened at this home on post. Reporting outside Fort Hood, Kevin Schwaller, KXAN News.